Sergeant America, boom. Uh, hit the local library, and uh, when you pick up your books, at least I sometimes wonder about being judged. You know, let alone I'm picking up comic books for children, right? Pick up a graphic novel. It's a weird book, right? Or you pick up some book that has an image on it that you just don't want anyone to see. You know, so often we judge our books by our covers, and we judge the people who read those covers. Uh, let alone if somebody just saw a list of all the different books that we pick up from the library, or a poll list, or just whatever we happen to have in our stack. Definitely this time with uh, My Friend Dahmer. It's a book written by, definitely want to make sure I get his name right, Durf Backdurf. It took me by surprise that that was seriously his name. Um, it is truly a unique name. And so that's why I thought, you know, it, it caught me as, is this really a true story? And Backdurf is really from the hometown of Jeffrey Dahmer. Um, for those of you who don't know, uh, Dahmer is a serial killer. And, uh, this isn't about the grizzly nail biter. This isn't the grizzly cross. This is the psychological build of a man in high school who is wrestling with his thoughts and his urges. And Backdurf was somebody who knew him, who spoke with him in school and wasn't really his friend outside of that and that's how we see the development of Jeffrey Dahmer. That he was somebody who had a, what most of us would consider maybe the normal troubles of life, parents getting through a divorce, but Jeffrey has the issue that um, he's now come to terms that he likes men and likes them dead. And now he's struggling with those thoughts in his head. He doesn't want those. He tries to cover it up with alcohol. He tries to battle it every way he can. And this is just the psychological build with all those local or with all the little things as we're going through high school, trying to fit in social situations, trying to make friends. And to know that you're fighting this mental disorder that is just eating you alive. Backdurf does an excellent job. He is the artist, and in fact, in high school, was even drawing pictures of um, Dahmer and other things. They're included in the book, and it is just amazing to my mind that this person, you know, knew of Jeffrey and didn't realize it, didn't see it, and but then he says, as we want, you know. If you think about it, you know, there's there are all these kids that knew them, but what about the adults? At this time, it was the 70s, early 70s, so the late 60s. The anti-establishment people have graduated from college and are now teaching the high schools. Uh, it's interesting to see his depiction of them in here, uh, even to the point it ends as they leave high school and are going to college. At this point, Jeffrey has not killed anybody yet and is just getting into his first murder. And so they end it right there. Um, when his wife contacted uh, Backdurf, she says, you know, a former schoolmate of yours, you know, was just found to be a serial killer. And Backdurf actually says, is it, he gives a name. And she's like, no. And he goes, was it Dahmer? And she says, yeah, so there was actually somebody in the school, and they portray it in this book, that was weirder than Dahmer. So it was just reading through this book, you know, it was a, a two sittings that I went through this one. Um, because, I mean, it was compelling. It, it made me want to see the story to find out about this individual and see how this all develops. So, you know... Yeah, I'll be judged by the books that I read. Um, this is definitely one, you know, you know, to this day, I mean, it's finishing it. Like I said, it's not a fake book. It's not a, 
um, it's not a nail biter. It's not a cross. It's not a any serial killer book. It's real life serial killer. And I think that's the thing that uh, shocked me the most once you finally stop and start to process it. Even now, as I'm trying to get it out, uh, you know, it, sometimes there's still incomprehensible thoughts in my head that, you know, it, it was, you know, you, there is no forgiveness for the actions that this person does. But the uh, author even mentions in it, you know, was there a chance to give them help? Was there a chance to stop this and, and save those people if we were to taking care of it earlier? I don't know if anyone even watched this video. Um, you know, such topics like this, who knows, you know, will we be judged just by clicking on this video? So, you know, if you want to comment, if you want to thumbs up, um, maybe look for it in the library, you know, maybe check online. Um, I believe this is self-published by Backderf and then, uh, picked up, I think, by, uh, by, a, by the book company. I know he had a tough time getting out originally. Uh, it's a tough subject to tackle. So if you do read it, if you have thoughts on it, I'd like to hear about them. You know, I'm still trying to think about it myself. So, you know, thank you for watching the video.